Hey everyone, welcome back to Educate WordPress, where we talk everything about WordPress. And today, I'm going to show you how you can change fonts in your WordPress website. Let's get started. So first, head over to Dashboard, go to Plugins, and click on Add New. Search for Easy Google Fonts. Click on install now. Now let's talk a bit about our sponsor. This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications. Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. and click activate now let's head over to our settings and click on easy google fonts now while we have in here we have to select the css class or html tag for which the fonts need to be changed you don't need to learn html css to do this just know that every entity that we see on our website such as an image, section or text is inside an enclosure and that enclosure is called HTML tag. And CSS class is used to select different HTML tags and used to design and edit those tags. Now we don't need to get technical, we can find that the text whose fonts need to be changed just by going over to the website. For example, I want to change the font of this title, right click and click on inspect element. Now as you can see, this is an A tag which means this is enclosed in an A tag. Now let's head back. Close this. Go to settings once again. Now I'm going to name a group of fonts that I'm going to change. For example, I want to change the paragraph. So I'm going to write a paragraph and enter. I'm going to enter the CSS selector, which we saw for paragraph that is P tag. We're going to enable this and click on create font control. Now let's head over to manage here we can edit or delete our selectors now let's head over to settings and we will have to enter a google api key we need a google fonts api key if we want to use font that has been added to google fonts library recently so it basically it just updates the google fonts library to our website for that head over to google and type google fonts API head down and click on get a key now click on the project name Click on yes and next.
now this is your API key click on this button to copy it to clipboard and head back to our website and paste it click on save API key and as you can see our API key is valid now let's head back to our dashboard here I'm going to add the P tag stands for paragraph in HTML click enter and click on save font control now let's head over to our website click on customize and click on typography go to theme typography here you can see our section paragraph that we create in that plugin now this is a p tag you can confirm it by clicking on inspect element and as you can see it is a p tag so we're going to change this click here and select the font family I'm going to change it to let's say this one you can change text transform if I want to all to be in capitalize I want uppercase let head over to styles and you can change the color as well you can increase the font size here and you can change the background color as well and there are some more settings that you can change the line height letter spacing and you can save changes by clicking on publish now there's another way of changing fonts go to default typography click on headings this is h1 tag corresponding to heading 1 and i can change the font family in here as well click on georgia as you can see our font has been changed click on publish So that's about it in this video thank you for watching like if you find this video useful and feel free to subscribe thank you